Hey Facebook, this is Ev, and welcome to another episode of Sunday Soul Chat. I'm so happy to be here with you today because I have an amazing guest. Now Sunday Soul Chat, that's the conversation with your soul. It's where I want to take you on a journey of deeper thought, of looking at everything past the surface of things by bringing you powerful people and powerful tools to help you unlock your fullest potential. So one of those tools, I'll be posting it in the comments, is the Think Up app. The Think Up app. And I have the founder and creator, Irit Walden. Irit Wald, and she's going to be on with me today because Mindset Mastery is really what I do and I love having deeper discussions um, on these topics. So give me one second while I add her on. Happy Sunday. How are you guys? Hey, hey Mr. Cornell. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Hope you're having an amazing Sunday and I hope you're ready for, actually gotta turn my camera to the side. Make sure we can see Ev on this side. Ira, you got to turn your camera to the side. There we go. <laughs> there we go. You look so beautiful. Happy Sunday. Thank you. How are you? Very good. I don't know why I didn't put a side to side. It's my fault on how I started this live. So just a minute. I need to, just a minute, just a minute. No, you're good. I think it's because of the way I started this live. You're on the side. You are on the side, but you're not to the side of me. So usually it's side by side. But that's yes. Okay. But I hear, I hear you. I hear you alive. Just a minute. I will. Oh, I hear you twice. So just a minute. Oh. Okay. So how about I kick you off and then I'll add you back. Okay. Thank you. All right, you guys, so give me one second to add her back. I always forget I got to rotate this thing. Let's see if we can get this up a little bit higher. All right, there we go. All right, let's add her back. Oh. All right, you got to come back. So Ira, she is a wellness specialist with over 10 years of experience. She developed the Think Up app for herself, which I think is so amazing. <laughs> um, and we're gonna just talk to her today about that journey. Hey, do you still hear me twice? No, it's fine. Good, good, that means we're rocking. Happy <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Your hair is beautiful. Oh, yes, my cousin did this. Thank you so much. It's just, um, they call it crochet. You, just like you crochet with a needle, you crochet it through braids. And yeah, you get this. <laughs> amazing. Thank you. Yes, you look amazing too. Are you outside? Yes, I'm outside. Good. Yeah, under, under the oh, tree. Okay. Under the tree. Say that again. But I'm under the tree. Outside, amazing. fresh air. Yes, amazing. I'm such a nature girl. We, I'm, you know, I'm in New York, so it's gloomy. It's been gloomy for the past couple of days, so I'll take your sunshine. But part of this, too, is my mastery is that ability to have sunshine in your heart, in your mind at all times, right? Oh, <laughs> thank you. My yeah, so um, I introduced you a little bit. But I want you to um, just introduce yourself as well. Okay, so uh, I'm Yurit Wald, uh, the CEO of Think Up. I have three amazing kids, and um, I think that I train myself very good to to think is in positive terms. Therefore, my mm -hmm. life is uh, shining. Um, I started my journey when I did the uh, meditation for a long time and for time to listen to my own thoughts. Mm. And during those meditation, I, I understood the power of thoughts over my life. So I decided to create an app that changed the mindset, changed the way you think about yourself. And, um, 
at the beginning it was completely different but when 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 things move forward it change to the way it looks like uh, like, uh, like uh, today so basically think up is an app that helps you choose the best new mindset you want to adopt you record it in your own voice because your brain understands your voice the most you choose your favorite music because uh, it's in um, it's engage your emotional part of the brain and you go to sleep with it because then you have the right brain waves to to help your subconscious mind observe the the words so it's affirmations in your own voice and your own music personalized only to you and by repetition this is how the brain works so by repetition you change uh, the way you think the way you feel and um, this is the app yeah and I think it's so amazing and I kind of just want to get into um, because you are a wellness specialist and you do have was it 15 15 years of meditating and then 10 years of um, experimenting and implementing wellness strategies and And you've spoken at places like PayPal, Google, um, corporate, you do a lot of corporate training, which I think is phenomenal because these are the companies that make a lot of the biggest decisions, right? When you have a lot of money, you get to make a lot of the big decisions. And I think a lot of times, just for me as a leader, I learned you cannot operate looking up, down, you know, and if you want to have great employees and if you want to, uh, really be a company that's creating change you know it's important that we're thinking about what we're thinking about we're not just living in a world of greed and what can I have and what is next and if you guys have not um, checked out the podcast yet I interviewed um, I read on the podcast which you're gonna have to go there to listen to her story about where she started to where she's at now because many of us have that pursuit of you I want to work here because I can make a lot of money. I want to be secure. I want to do this. I want to do that. And you talk about that. Um, but today I really want to talk about within that corporate training, like just tell us some of the stuff that you talk about. Cause at the end of the day, this is scientific stuff that comes down to the brain and the, just the way that it works. It's not, it's not like affirmations are some foo foo thing that, you know, uh, no one should be doing or only certain people should be doing like I think affirmations for me everyone should be doing it because at some degree we are programmed um, by so- society as well as our experiences and what that what they have taught us so can you just t- talk to us a little bit about the brain and kind of the conversations that you have when you go to these corporate um, so first I want to say that those companies are really open-minded and And it's not I I, I, uh, I, I took a picture in uh, woo. <laughs> I'm just trying to because I'm watching it from my computer and it looks like I'm to the side so let me t- turn yours to the side too it looks like I'm crooked it's so weird yeah we'll do it like this because it looks like I was like to the side okay like if you so we're gonna just do it like this okay so yeah, I had a, a lecture at Stanford to a uh, 40 entrepreneurs and I understood why they are so successful and mm. I talked to them and I understood the mindset and I, I, I talked to the people there were very very young there were I think 18 till 22 this was the groups that I talked to And I understood why they are so successful because their mindset was so aligned with who they are. And though companies, Google and Facebook, the companies and, and PayPal and the company that I uh, went to do a lecture there, I saw that they have open minded. They are, they are so open minded that it was, it was amazing to see how They want meditation and they want they want their employees to be happy it's not I want you employee to make to make just money you are not mm-hmm. just a money machine you are a person and they understood that 
if they want long-term employee, they need to take care of them and they do it so well. Yeah. And company that said, okay, these things are not, are not interest us. I understand what the mindset of the company, what it means. And I can relate it uh, success to the mindset of the leaders. And no, not everyone needs to accept what I do, but I see connection between people that bring me to talk about my tool and the success. I see some kind of connection and it's very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, about the, the brain, so the brain works with repetition. If you all the time tell yourself that you are good, you will be good because this is the brain your work the this is the way your brains your brain works mm -hmm. so the thing that we did we didn't do something really big we just want personalized affirmations so we thought if even louise a she's huge but if she said that i am very good exactly as i am she doesn't really know me she doesn't really know where i come from But if I said it to myself with my voice and my music, at the beginning, it's, it's, it sounds weird. But after a few weeks or a few days, it it's, it's sounds like a thought. And this is mm -hmm. the magic. Because when you put the headphones, when you go to sleep and you listen to it, you have the permission to... To relax and stop stop the thing that you do all the time the doing you can stop the doing because something do the work for you mm -hmm. and this is the magic you know when I was a Pilates instructor and I, I learned sport therapy I learned that there is something called passive uh, passive actions mean that the therapists do everything for the, for, for, for the client. He move his joints, do everything for him. And this, is the, this was my inspiration when I created this app because I understood that if you can relax and let things happen to you, you will be in receive mode which you are not doing it on daily basis. All the time we try to do, to do, to do. Even me, I try all the time to do and I need to practice to let go. I right. need to, to practice to stop doing and let the thing flow through me and do the work. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know. I just heard this the other day and someone, I don't know if it was another podcaster I interviewed, but um, kind of like how, or maybe even what client where they, were, it's like that recognition that you have a conversation happening inside your mind always. And a lot of us aren't paying attention to this conversation, which obviously it's a reflection of how you feel about yourself. It's a reflection of how you feel about your world. It's a reflection, you know, those are the reflections that show you. If you want to know how you think, look around you. If you want to know how you think, you know, it, It's like thinking about what you're thinking about. So I love that you, um, A, that you created the app. Because I told you I do meditations and I don't listen to my own meditations. But our voice, to us talking to us, is so powerful because we're doing it anyways. But we're not doing it in a way that can always get to the subconscious mind. And one of the things that you said that I love is you were saying, you know, if you get an affirmation and you say to yourself, and this is where I think people get tripped up with writing affirmations, is they'll write affirmations that don't resonate with them, right? You can write, you know, I'm a millionaire, right? You could write, I'm, I'm confident. But if you don't really feel that in your heart, you can write it for a full year. It's not going to help your life shift. But you said, well, instead of writing that, right? every day I'm a little bit more confident. That sounds believable. Yes. <laughs> That sounds accurate. 
because then your brain goes, okay, what can I do today to be a little bit more confident? Exactly. Um, and I love that, you know, what you do. And really, it's just, like I said, going back, it's just the way that the brain works. It likes repetition, which I think is shown in our life, in our society. We like repetition. We like being able to know what's going to happen. We like, you know, nobody wants to live in chaos and change, you know, but that's just life. It's kind of a beautiful chaos. But this is, this is a tool that really gets to the subconscious mind. And to me, I talk a lot about healing. So to me, this is like healing that inner part of you that's saying, you know, when you say I'm beautiful, it's like, no, you're not. <laughs> because maybe when you were a kid, someone kept saying, you're just so ugly, or you're just so fat, or you're just, you're not as pretty as your sister, or you're not as beautiful as that girl. Maybe that was something that you bought into because of you were buying 17 magazines. Or, you know, like that was the perception that you developed. So I talk a lot about mindset ma mastery. And we get into this a little bit in the podcast towards the end. Um, I think I worded it a little differently. But what is, what is the difference between mastering our mind and <laughs> kind of just going through day to day, um, you know, the day to day motions of life? And because I hear people say so many different things. In one, I don't know if you listen to Wayne Dwyer. Oh. Wayne Dyer. I, isn't he phenomenal? I love him because I just love people that talk and have such a great sense of humor and can be authentic and admit that they're flawed as well. And, you know, the thoughts they think, the things that they do. Um, but talking about mindset mastery and how some of us kind of just go through the motions of life, but we don't understand key elements that make life life like regardless like it doesn't matter what you decide to think like life is just like this and you can't change that so I just want to talk about mindset mastery because I think a lot of us want to obtain it and it seems it seems so hard it seems so hard and I think you touched on it a little bit in the podcast too I think it was my question saying, like, what do you think are the greatest keys of life? So it's like along those lines, I think mindset mastery kind of falls into that, like an understanding. Yeah. So um, we talked about it. We, we, we programmed. So basically, we, we completely programmed to the thing that we learned till age seven. And the, the, the beauty here is to understand that you are not seven anymore and you don't need to look at, w at the word like a kid. You can look at the word like adult, but you programmed as a kid with no abilities or limited abilities, but right now you don't have those abilities. You're not young anymore. You can do whatever you want. You can choose whatever you want. So, so the thing with the app is the ability to reprogram your mind to think like adults and not like a kid anymore. And, mm -hmm. and the ability to look at yourself and to say to yourself, even though I'm not perfect, I'm excellent exactly as I am, or I love myself yeah. exactly as I am. Mm -hmm. This is... You don't need to be perfect to love yourself. You know, our kids, not all the time perfect, but we love them like crazy. So yeah. what happened with ourselves that we decide that if we don't do the perfect thing, we need to hate ourselves or not to love ourselves? So basically this mastery is to understand from the bottom of your heart that you are good exactly as you are. And even though you made a mistake, it is okay. This is part of the way, and this is okay. And next time, you will do it differently. And this is the right, perfect route for you. And you are excellent exactly as you are. You don't need to be different. And I want to tell you about um, a mindset shift that I uh, passed, that when I talk to people, at the beginning, I try to understand what is the problem. Hmm. What is the misunderstanding? 
what happened inside their head. And I try to really understand what is it. Oh, I don't know if you see me. Can you see me with this light? Can you see me? I can see you. It's, the sun is shining on you in this message. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so, so I all the time try to, to find what is the problem with people. And right now I understand my, my, my shift was people are good exactly as they are. They're not a problem. Everything is good. And even mm -hmm. though you are not ready right now, it's fine. You will be ready or not. But everything is exactly as it should be. So it's, much, so it's much easier to live life when you are completely relaxed and let the thing happen for you. And it doesn't mean that you need, you know, to sit on the couch and do nothing. Mm. But you need to love yourself enough to understand who you really are. And I think this is the message. The message yeah. is reprogram yourself to understand who you are, who you really, really are. And, and I think that, ah, that's it. And I think that by understanding and by repeating every day again and again, and it, and it took me a while to, to do this. At the beginning, like I all the time thought, what I can pro, what I can do better. How can I become a better version of the self today? It's not the place that I'm in today. I just want to look at the world in a perfect glasses. The word is perfect exactly as it is. And it is. And yeah, I don't, it is. And, and it's amazing. When you look at the word and you don't try to change it, fight it, all your resistance, leave the body, and it's easier. You have more energy to do other stuff. Yeah. You don't, yeah. you know, you don't exhaust, you are not exhausting yourself in doing stupid things. You just... Yeah. Don't, and I just so happened to listen to uh, Wayne Dyer this morning because I think, you know, like, like I had another interview where she said leaders are readers, you know, and I think when you be, when you understand life, you just always want to learn. I think you should always have, and talking about open-mindedness, I think that's just where we begin in life as a kid. We're so open-minded, like there's nothing that can scare us. There's not like, we just want to try everything and do everything. And then we lose that because we try to stay in conform, you know, and we, uh, we try to stay in boxes and then our parents do it to us sometimes with the things they say. So I try to be mindful of that. But he said, the world is not stressful. It's just people having stressful thoughts. Yes. And I think the shift that has to happen where I think we just, I know we don't understand the magnitude of thought. We don't understand the magnitude of what it creates, not the doing that creates. It's not like if you do everything that they say to do to be successful, that you'll even feel that way. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like what you just said, you said, you know, if you, if you stop looking at the world, thinking it's imperfect and trying to fix it, you're giving yourself so much more energy because you say it's just perfect as it is. And if I step outside and someone, you know, doesn't say thank you when I hold the door, or, you know, is it my responsibility to get upset? You know, what is, what is being triggered in me? It's just a different wavelength of thought to where you're not fighting to change the world. It's that inner, it's that saying that says, be the wish you, you, you be the change you wish to see in the world. And I really do think it's a, no, we, I know, I know, you know, it's an inner game. It's all about the inner game. It's all about the inner thought. And it's like, come on, we've all been uh, chaotic in our mind. We all know what chaos in our minds looks like. We all know what stress in our mind looks like. We all know what violence in our mind looks like, you know, when things don't go our way or some of us that have road rage. So why do we look outside in the world and expect it to be so when we know we've hosted those same thoughts and beliefs within ourselves you know and I think that's just accountability 
And that app helps you be very accountable because when you look through some of those affirmations, I mean, I've come very far. You know, I've been meditating for seven years, so my self-awareness is just, you know, I like to think I'm pretty self-aware. But when I wasn't, just looking through some of those and to say, I am confident, um, or you know, kids, the, the one I told you I have with my kids, I choose love, peace, and understanding. Um, it's like we want to put ourselves on a pedestal where we want our minds to be, but our minds aren't really there, you know, and admitting that. So some of those, some of the affirmations, I think definitely will check you and say, do you really believe this? Do you want to believe life is easy? That was one for me that when I said a long time ago, I feel like if there was a big fat guy in my head, he would have laughed at it. Like, ha ha ha. Like <laughs> life is not easy. Ebony, you know, life is not easy. Life is just bad and things just always look wrong. But that's just a signal to me that, okay, you've got inner work to do, right? Yes. So. I just love this app. I cannot tell you how much I love it. I cannot tell you how essential it is. I'm going to share it underneath um, after we get through this. But pretty much what I heard you say and everything that you just said is going from the ability, mindset mastery is going from the ability to think like a kid, which a lot of us as adults will never admit that we're big kids. We have temper tantrums like kids. We think, you know, we just, we are not able to operate in wisdom. And I think that's the blessing of becoming an adult is wisdom. So it's that ability to think like a kid, to think like an adult. And to me, that's wisdom. That's the ability to say, you know what? Life, everything that happens to me is for me. Yes. And no matter how bad it is, I'm going to choose to see it in that light. And you Which know what? Is, yes. It's, and you know what? I think it's a matter of practice. I don't know. Yeah people born with with this because all the time they had a friend that um reduced their their self-confidence and all the time there's someone that you know lower your confidence so yeah. i think that in the end is it's matter of practice how you practice how you how you create a self-confidence that you believe that you can do anything and mm. i think all the big you know very successful people that i talk to i see there is a line between all their minds that they really believe that they can do anything yeah so or yeah. you get it from home or you need to train yourself over and over and over again until you understand that you are capable to do anything and this is the magic And this is the reason, and as we talked in the podcast, you know, there are some level of consciousness. And one level is meditation, that you clean your mind and let the divine, the creation, whatever, go through you and do the work. Mm -hmm. And there is another level of consciousness that helps you see the world in a positive way which make your vibration higher and much more, and, and your life is, is, is much more easier and much more, again, it's not easy life, but it's much more easier to live a life when you look at the world and think, wow, everything, life is for me and not against me. And mm -hmm. you're not afraid of the times that something will happen to you. You are not. Because you know that life is for you. And you need to train yourself. But I found out that all the successful people have this mindset. No bad luck. It's not that because they, 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 they didn't have, you know, bad businesses or something like that. Because they think that everything happens for a reason. And they exactly. understand that this is a milestone in their way to success. Exactly. Can I tell you a story? So when I, you know, it's kind of like the difference between knowing and doing something. I think a lot of us, and I think this is why quotes pages, like pages that only post quotes have so many followers, because I know that the soul of who we are believes it, but the, the brain of who we are, it doesn't. So what I kept one year, um, I, you know, probably a couple of years ago when I started taking meditation seriously and just like, 
being, um, you know, noticing how anxiety filled I was and just all these different things. I was really off kilter, really off kilter, like in one of those jobs that you just, you just hate, <laughs> you just hate having to show up every day. So anyways, I, I had a day, somebody hit, they took off the whole front part of my car and I was in my office and my boss walks in and she's like, Ebony, just stay calm. Now, Ebony's always calm. <laughs> Don't tell a calm person to stay calm. Like, that's not a good thing. And um, this was at the point where I was like, okay, you know, don't be reactive. Don't be reactive to things because everything that's happening to you is for you. And if you react in a way that goes from to the roof, you're not believing that thought. You don't really believe it because now you're reacting to it in a way that's not necessary when you can be calm. You can be calm about this. So I went out there and this guy who's so unapologetic, he was so apologetic. He saw me taking out car seats and he just wanted, he just wanted to spend like the whole day with me. He felt so bad. And I'm not going to lie. Was I like, a, I think I got more disappointed that his insurance was like, oh, we'll give you a car in like three days. And I'm like, no, you're going to give me one today. Like, we're going to make this happen. You're going to give it to me today. So that just like rattled me just a little bit more, right? A little bit more on top of the, what it is, you know? And I went out, looked at the car and I just was like, oh, like are you serious? But I was like, everything that happens to you for you. And I was telling myself, I had a little nick under my car because I had hit some ice that got really hard in my mom's driveway. And it was like a little thing that I would have had to pay probably like a grand to fix. And I said this in my head one day, I just was like, I hope somebody hits my car. That way I don't have to pay for it. <laughs> so not only did I bring this upon my speaking of I <laughs> not only um, was that the situation, but it was my ability to really be aware in that moment and to embrace what I said I believe. And it really did change my awareness of life and my awareness of that situation to where I wrote the guy a letter. I wasn't being mean to him, but I didn't want to talk to him. Like, I don't want to now become friends after you've hit my car. Like, you hit my car. Let me get your insurance. Like, you can go have a great day. I have a job that I still have to do till five. So, you know, let's just let's just part ways and, you know, high five. Goodbye. But I was like a little stand to him. So I sent him a letter. And I just was like, you know, thank you for staying. You know, I looked at the situation. You could have left. I might not have had your insurance. I would have had to pay. So I just want to say thank you. And we became, we became friends. We became friends. So that was just, as you were talking, I just was thinking of that situation because that was a moment where I said, I'm going to stop being reactive and I'm going to start believing the things that I think I believe, but I don't practice. You know? So practice is definitely makes perfect as well as um, being aware in that situation. So as we're listening to these affirmations and the reason why I have that, I love my kids is because that's the first one to listen to in the morning. And they're the first people that I wake up with <laughs> and you have kids too. So, you know, they don't always wake up and they're sometimes they don't want to go to school. Sometimes with my youngest getting dressed is like, you would think I'm trying to pull her teeth out, you know, she just wants to wear old clothes or whatever. So um, it, it, to me, also is a reminder of, okay, this is what you said you believed in. This is what you said you where you want your mind to be. So now it's time that you practice it. You listen to it, and then you practice it. Yes. Yes. So one of my I have questions for you, but I kind of just want to let this flow because I think you're so amazing. And I, I really love this app. As far as like people that have been connecting with me, um, people that have downloaded loaded it, they're really loving it. Wow. Like, yeah, they're really fun. loving it. Ha say that again. I said that it's fun to to hear it. You know, it's it's so satisfying to hear that people love it. The app, you know? it especially since you created it for yourself. I love that because I think as someone who goes out to teach others, I think you have to first, you're first doing things for yourself. You're first doing, like, it's like a self-discovery. And then you're like, wow, this really works. I've got to share this. <laughs> I have to share this with everybody. Um, just so many people who just, it was timely for me as well to have this additional tool in my life. I love it. Um, so there's just been really great feedback. So one of my questions, which I feel like, 
it would we would go back to the affirmations with this is how do we move past fears and anxieties because i know if there's one thing that keeps us from moving it's that overthought of i'm not good enough it's that overthought of you know i can be successful only if i do this you know like that that future thing that we think we have to do in order to reach that plateau yes so um so this is a, a big lie. You don't need to do anything <laughs> in order to, to, uh, to succeed. You just need to show and to shine. So basically, the main thing in life is just to, to know who you are. To know who you are, to know what is your cont- contribution, because everyone is unique and everyone has a different con- contribution. Mm-hmm. And... And just to spread out who you are. For me, I didn't understand how powerful this app when I created it. Um, I can say that after three years of practicing it, and everyone looked for very fast results. So after one month, I, I felt much happier. And after second month, I felt much more confidence confident but after three years I feel completely different and you know what mm-hmm. I know that people need their uh, research and they need evidence and, and I, I said to all those people just try it try it for one month when you when you connect it to a habit that you already have so for example if every day you brush your teeth listen to it while brushing your teeth if every day yeah. you fold the laundry or, 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 cleaning the, or clean the house, do it while you do regular things. Because when yeah. you're connected to a habit that you already do, you don't need to think about it. Mm-hmm. And, and the thing is, after three years, when people start to, to practice it, they understand the benefit. The challenge is to practice, to make people remember it for a long time and I know that it's difficult and I know that the word is very everyone is very busy and very you know unfocused but I think that the only one that you should invest in this word is yourself so your challenge is amazing because you said to your people okay be with me for 21 full days Just listen to yourself 15 minutes a day and you will feel the change. And if you you have a fear or anxiety that you are dealing with, I heard heard someone say that a thought is like a bubble that eh, that, that, that go, you know, all around you. And And when it goes inside your head, you can believe in this thought. And when you believe it in, in this thought, it becomes, you know, you think about it all the time. And when you just think that thought is a thought, you just, it go through your head and go away and just live it. And anxiety is a thought that's stuck inside your head. And you think about it over and over and over and over and you don't let go. This is anxiety. Mm-hmm. So basically all you need to do is understand that thought is a thought. And if you automatically, automatically think, at least train yourself to think in a positive terms. Not only yeah. to talk, think. When you talk to, to yourself in the shower, think in positive terms. And this is when the magic happens. Because if to be programmed, you better be programmed in a positive terms. Mm-hmm. There is an error. Absolutely. <laughs> You're so loud. You're still very, uh, I can still hear you. But I love that. And I love one of the other things that I think is even more effective is listening to it. I didn't think about listening to it at night. And I didn't think about this when I started my meditations, but my meditations are at night. I do them at nighttime. And I think for people, we don't realize that before, even before we go to bed, we're not getting prepped for bed. 
right? Like you prep a kid for bed, right? I mean, I don't do this with my kids, but some people are, you know, you give your kids warm milk. We drink tea. My kids are tea drinkers, right? You give them like a chamomile tea. You might put on an essential lavender oil diffuser. Like you're doing all these things for them. You know, you're making sure the room temperature is good. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. If it's hot, is their air blowing, right? You're setting all these things up to get them ready for bed and then they go to bed. But as adults, we're not doing we're not doing the things we need to do to get ready for bed. A lot of us are scrolling or we're, we're working and then we go to bed. We're so exhausted or we fall asleep mid watching a movie or whatever, which I try not to do that because it goes, it's like in my dreams then. And one of the other things you said, you said we always sleep. So you need to put these affirmations on as you're going to sleep. To me, that's like, it's a lie that we're busy. It's a lie that you cannot give yourself 15 minutes in a day. Like that's probably one of my most, I, I cannot stand that excuse for anybody because if people say peace is a priority, how are you making it so important to you? Because the so important things to you, you'll do anything for them, anything. Think about the crazy things we do for anything. I mean, people stand in lines, you know, November's around the corner, first Friday, in lines for things right they'll stay there they'll sleep there they'll they'll miss them to wait for that flat screen tv that went on sale for a hundred bucks right so for us to say we're busy i just think there's no one that's so busy that they cannot feed themselves positivity that they cannot feed themselves you know uh positive affirmations and, po and positive mindset mastery tools that it, it allows them to upgrade the level of their life and it's not even the physical of it but we all know internally when we're not right we all know when we're anxious we all know when we're fearful we all know when we're unhappy yep. so i like the busy thing is like to me hi grandma my grandma's on <laughs> that whole busy to me is just like i roll my eyes and people say they're they're so busy it's like, it's not that you're busy. Maybe even tell yourself, I don't find that important and say that out loud so you can yes. have like a news for yourself. <laughs> they say that looking in Facebook and sneaking into other people's life is more important than yeah. training yourself and to have, you know, training yourself to have a better life. So yeah. basically you love, you love other people more than you love yourself. And this is the problem. Because saying I don't have time You have time when you are in the car. You have time when you are taking a shower. You have time when you put your makeup. You have time. You just need to be smart. That's it. Yeah. It's not yeah. having the time. Everyone goes to sleep. Everyone goes to sleep, right? So if you go to sleep, do it 15 minutes before you close the day. And then all your night will be much more restful and much more calm, calmer and It looks different. You will wake up in the morning much more energized. Mm -hmm. so, For sure. So the, for sure. So excuses are not for us, right? No. <laughs> all, the, all the people that want to give excuses can go to another yeah. place, but not for us. Yeah. And I think to me that was part of mindset mastery was it's accountability and it's that ability to look at yourself. You know, and even as you develop affirmations. So I had affirmations when I first downloaded the app. And then I listened to those. I think those lasted for a good maybe two weeks. And then I was like, hmm, I feel like I'm at a different level. Let me go back and add some more powerful ones. And even just writing them down for the challenge, for the 21-day challenge, I just left writing them feeling so happy. Um, the Miracle Morning, those are going to be ones that I share with you guys um, on my own terms. Therapy for Black Women, um, that one, th Therapy for Black Girls, I love hers as well. Um, I started with the self-confidence because... Like you said, if, if we can, we spend so much time on Facebook and I don't know if you have iPhone, but iPhone just started this, this thing that actually makes me laugh where every week it will tell you how much screen time you were on your phone. Now, I don't know about you guys, <laughs> but that feature just is so, to me, I like self-reflection and I love to be aware of, so last week for me, it was like three hours. This week it was five hours, which makes sense because I've had a busier week and I had more things to do online. But um, just seeing where we place our time, 
seeing where our time goes, being just aware of, you know, the excuses we have and just saying, you know, I don't have time for myself, but we have this addiction to being online. I mean, studies show that there's an addiction, there's an addiction to be online, to be in other people's lives, you know, to uh, be scrolling. Now my grandma's on here. I know my grandma's online because she, you know, it's like a, to be able to see the rest of her, her uh, grandchildren and family around the world, but for everybody else out there, and I've been there. Have you been there before where you were mindlessly scrolling or you watched one video and then it led to another video <laughs> and then another video and you're like, okay, I definitely don't do that as much anymore because I try to be very um, aware of my time and sticking to the things I value and sticking to growth and change opposed to mindless scrolling for sure. But I would definitely recommend to use this while going to sleep. Um, and you just made some great key points. So you guys have to share this video. If you're watching this on the playback, make sure you tap replay. I'm going to post a unique app, uh, link to the app. When this is done, I tried to do it, but it was giving me a different link. Um, because this app is really for everybody. It is available on Samsung devices. The app that I'll post is for iTunes, iTunes folks. Um, but what are some of the things, what keeps you motivated? Because if my grandma's still on there, one of the things that she always said to me, which I'm happy she did, was she always said, never stop learning. Or she'll say, you know, Ev, I'm, I'm this age and I'm still learning. So that makes, you know, I've always known it's essential to learn and learn and learn until you just, I mean, really until the day you die. Like there's nothing, you, you can <laughs> never stop learning about the world and about yourself and about, um, the level can break, you know, within your own life. Yep. Yep. It's completely true. All you need to do is learn about yourself and learn, you know, in soft way, not criticize yourself. Just learn with a smile. Hmm. Mm -hmm. This is how I, how I am today. Mm, interesting. Yesterday I was different or mm, interesting. Yesterday I was the same or whatever. But yeah. learn about yourself. Take a look at, uh, at, at how you digest the outside world. And we started talking about a workshop at, uh, at, at, at big companies. So I would like to, to end this conversation and said that that when I did this workshop at um, PayPal or at Google or whatever, and I, I gave them three or four affirmations. I asked them to choose their affirmation that resonated good with them. And then I told them, okay, go out and record it. So everyone go out, you know, ran away from the room, took a, a place, record themselves, go to the room, and we did a, um, a meditation party. So everyone put their headphones and everyone played together. And I felt something different in the room. So everyone just, I, I, I saw it like start to breathe, all of them together. And I felt that something changed in the, you know, consciousness in the room. Something happened in the room yeah. when you listen to yourself and maybe this is right the right way to do with your people just your tribe try to tell them all of you together in one hour in 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 certain in certain hour just listen to it together and see what happens you will feel the different the difference you will feel it mm -hmm. so so yes, I think that training yourself to think in posi positive per patterns can change everything in your life. And I completely, I believe in it in, from the bottom of my heart, I believe in it. And I am, I'm very lucky that I, that I did something that I'm completely proud of. And, you know, it's, it's changed like my thought. Everything changed. When I got a bad feedback, I said, oh, maybe it's not as good as I think it is. But if I can help even one person in the whole world, and I want to tell you a story, and, and, and that's it. Um, we got a, an email from a, very, from, from a young lady 
They told us that her mom recorded her affirmations. She recorded her children, her, her mom recorded to her. And she recorded something around 20 affirmations to her. And two weeks later, her mom died. Mm -hmm. And she stayed with this affirmation and she asked me, how can I save it? What I do to save it? She was so, you know, afraid that she's going to lose it. But I feel that she has a huge advantage that her mom, before she died, just record her how she love, loves her and what she thinks about her. And it yeah. was so exciting. So I felt so amazing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And you guys think of app, just look at the reviews. There's over, over 1500 reviews, um, you know, and talk about adding a tool to your toolbox to change your life. And like I said, going back to mindset, you know, I think we don't, we really don't understand the power of thought. We do not understand the power of thought. We do not understand the power of consciousness and global consciousness and how we all contribute in that little way. You know, so waking up happier, waking up, you know, more fulfilled, waking up, not complaining about the day or your life or how imperfect it is and understanding that you are perfect just the way you are. And that's kind of my recent realization is like, you know what, we, we try to obtain achievements because we're an achievement based society and that's how we rate each other and ourselves. But to me, achievements just prove what you, what you think you can do and what you're thinking, right? Because I'm sure you visualized yourself speaking to large corporations before you were there. Right. I'm sure you were able to say, hey, I want to go talk to these people and then eventually made it manifest that way. Um, opposed to just wishing it away or scrolling it away or, or, you know, wishing one life, one day your life would be different. You know, just talk about happiness. That was one of the key points you made in the podcast was like I said, why do you think we'll be here? We're here. And it was just to be happy, to be happy and to experience joy and love. And, and I know that we missed that. We missed that huge uh, point of life and talk about waking up happy. I don't always listen to it when I go to sleep, but the days that I do, I definitely listen to it every morning, but the days that I put it on before I go to sleep, um, I wake up and I am ready to skip around. <laughs> High five the world. You know? It's just so amazing. It's just so amazing. So I'm going to drop the link for you guys to join that. I just thank you so much for thank joining Thank you. Me. I actually wanted to say this to you because you told me about how you play it for your kids. So that is something I want to do. But I was like, what if you could add a feature on it on your app where you can, um, like I could have on my app, premium version, you can have separate, like separate sections where I can play my kids, where I can let them record, but it's not part of my core recording. No, of course you have this feature. You do hashtag no. kids. And then when you play it, you can do only the affirmation for the kids. So you can have a morning meditation. You can an evening no, relaxation. Of course. What? Okay. So, so you yeah, can do it. I mean, I, we, we will work on it. But you can do it on yeah. dates. You know, you can say, okay, this is affirmation on uh, November 1st. And you yeah. can listen to it and you can do an archive. You know, you can see your progress by time. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's amazing because I want to do that for them. I, I think it's so important for us to um, assist our kids with this tool because if, if as adults, this is making us happier, healthier, you know, more minds, you know, ma masters of our minds. I mean, why not give this tool to your kids? So I thought it was so cool you have even a three-year-old listening to it. Um and I just, I just want to do it with them. So I'm so sorry. I, now I know. Okay, that's good. I'm going to start tonight. I'll let you know how that goes. So okay. it's probably going to go amazing. But I thank you so much for your time. I thank you so much just for what you do and choosing to follow your own journey. If you guys have not checked out the podcast, you can search Soul Chat with Queens Recognized Queens. And my last guest was Ira. And we talk about your journey to where you're at today, which I know so many people can resonate with that because a lot of times we are 
you know, we think the things that we have in our minds are just dreams and they're just things that are just fluffy and, you know, they'll never happen or that'll happen in 10 years. And I think when we master our minds with tools like this and you're listening to that every single day, you get more and more and more confident in that belief. You get more and more confident and that can happen. And I trust the universe to make a way. So, and it's helped me create so many other different, uh, different changes in my own life. So I just thank you for that. I thank you for reaching out to me. Thank you. <laughs> and work. Um, please share this video, you guys. Let me just see what, what this one comment is. And then we're going to go. I hope you guys have an amazing Sunday. Most definitely, I'm always on my kids about what they say and how words become reality. Absolutely. Absolutely. Words absolutely become reality. And I do believe we are the change we wish to see once we choose to be the light in our own lives and our minds. Because so many of us have so much darkness in our minds and it's not, it's not the way that it's supposed to be. So thank you so much. Thank you. Happy Sunday. You guys know what I always say. Real recognized, real queens, organized queens. Have an amazing day. Happy Sunday. Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for having me. Bye-bye. Thank you.